Hey, 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 awesome people. Welcome, Mr. C here, back with you with another Fractions video. Man, Fractions, there is so much to learn and we've been talking about it throughout this series. We've got a lot to cover with Fractions. I've been really excited. Thanks for joining us. Today we are continuing with some third grade standards, but these standards are really important for all of Fractions. And so maybe this is a refresher for you. Maybe this is something brand new, whatever the case is. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. Make sure that you click the like button if you like the video. Subscribe to Math with Mr. C so you can join us in this math journey as we continue making math understandable and challenging. Like I mentioned, we are talking about the third grade learning standards. I have updated them here. We are looking specifically at number lines. You see that right there? Number lines. Okay. This video today, we are going to be partitioning, breaking apart number lines to help us represent fractions on a number line. All right. So I'm going to jump into a few problems here in a moment, but this video is specifically talking about number lines, how to use them to help us learn more about fractions. I have a couple other videos that have dropped. There's been a couple of third grade videos. They were talking about what a fraction is, what a numerator is, what a denominator is, how do we identify them. And we've also talked about second grade as well. We've looked at halves and thirds and fourths. So make sure you check those out. All right. Like I said, this video here is going to be continuing with the third grade standard. I've got a couple of problems for you. Let's get started with partitioning on a number line. So what you should see here on the screen is a number line. All right, I have drawn a number line up here on the screen and you may have seen a number line before, you may not have. And so this may be a refresher for you, it may not, but I want you to remember the most important thing with anything that we do math related is to have the right mindset. Make sure you have a growth mindset. Be okay with the struggle, be okay with the challenge, be okay with making mistakes. You are in the right place. Okay, work alongside me, ask some questions, ask yourself these questions that I'm asking aloud, ask for help, do things like that, I promise you, the more you practice it, the better you will get. So, with that being said, here's a number line, let's partition a fraction. Let's say that you're given a fraction that looks like this. Okay, if you can't remember what the top number up here means or the bottom number what it means make sure you click on one of my videos down in the description below that talks about what a fraction is i'm going to assume that you've already watched those videos so i'm going to jump straight into it this number at the top of a fraction this number here that is our numerator okay the numerator tells us how much we have Okay, how many pieces of a whole that we have. The number on the bottom is our denominator. And it tells us how many sections there are total, how many equal parts the whole is broken up to. All right. On this number line, I have two numbers. What are the two numbers on this number line? The first number is zero. On the left side of this number line is zero. And on the right side, we have the number one. In between here is zero to one. Okay. And what I want us to do is I want us to use this number line to show where one half would be at. Okay. Where one half would be at on this number line. Now, let me explain to this a little bit. The way that you're going to attack this problem is you're going to look at the denominator first. What is our denominator? What's this number? Two, right? This denominator is two. What that's going to tell us is that's going to tell us how many equal parts we need to partition or divide this number line into. Okay. In this problem here, we're going to divide, we're going to partition the number line into two pieces. Okay, And they have to be equal size pieces. So watch this. 
I am going to break this up into two equal pieces. All right, take a look. This section over here to the right is the same size as the section to the left. We have broken this into one, two sections. Watch that again. We have broken this. We're hoping to break it into two sections. We've broken it into one, two sections. Now, if you look here, what's our numerator? Our numerator is one. So our one half would be located right here on a number line. We took this number line from zero to one and we broke it up into two equal size pieces, one, two, and then we put our fraction, we marked our fraction at the one, the first section out of the two, one out of two, one half, one out of the two. Okay, that may be something that's brand spanking new to you. And if it is, that's okay. All right, let me show you another one. Okay, let's try another one. Pause it here, rewatch it. Let me show you another one. This time I'm gonna give you with thirds. All right, second one I want you to look at here. We've got one third. Okay, we've got one third. I put our number line up here from zero to one. It's all we're focusing on is from zero to one. What we need to do is we need to show where this fraction would be at on a number line. Okay, first thing I want you to do, I want you to look at your denominator. Look at your denominator. That's the number on the bottom of a fraction that tells us how many equal sections we're gonna need. So what is this number here? It's a three. So what that means is that we need to make three equal sections on this number line. Three equal sections, okay? So I'm gonna break that up to three equal sections. Here's one, two, one, oops, let me draw that a little bit better, two, three. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. One, two, three. All right, let me kind of explain something to you here. This is where people can get a little bit confusing. It can be a little confusing at first. So when you heard me counting this, you were hearing me say one, two, three. But Mr. C, this says one here. Why do you keep saying that's three? Like, I don't see a three anywhere. You know what, you're exactly right. I don't see a three written here at all. But uh, what you need to understand is that this f number one, one whole, is the same thing as three over three. Okay, let me show you what I'm talking about. At zero, this would be zero over three. What do you think would be right here? Zero out of three, one out of three. That's gonna be one third. So zero thirds, one third. What do you think is gonna be here? Two thirds, very good. So we did zero thirds, one third, two thirds. Well, looky there, what goes here? Three thirds, three thirds is the same thing as one whole. Okay, these two numbers are equal. Three over three and one is equal to each other, okay? So our fraction, the one that we were trying to plot was one third, and as you can see, one third would be right here on a number line. We took this number line from zero to one, and we broke it up into however many, num whatever our number is in our denominator, which was three, so we broke it into three equal pieces, one, two, three, and look, notice zero thirds is the same thing as zero. Here's one third, two thirds, three thirds. Okay, let me show you another one. Let's try another one. All right, here we go. Got a new fraction for you. This fraction is going to be two fourths. Okay, feel free to try this one on your own before I jump into it. See if you can, you know, have a whiteboard piece of paper. Try to see if you can use a number line from zero to one. See if you can figure out where 
two fourths is going to go on this number line. So if I'm looking at this fraction, the first thing you need to do is look at the denominator. Okay, hopefully the first thing you're doing is looking at the denominator. What is our denominator? Well, our denominator is four. That's going to tell us how many equal sections, how many equal pieces that we're going to be breaking this number line into. We're gonna partition this number line to four equal pieces. So let's do that. So there's one, two, three, and then let's see if we can figure out where the fourth one's gonna go, right down here at the end. Okay, now, before we put two fourths and where it's gonna go, do y'all remember what zero would be if I were to write this as a fraction over here? It's gonna be zero over four. Anytime you see zero, you can put it over on the top as the numerator over any denominator and that will equal zero, okay? Now, what do you think about down here for one whole? Remember, this one can be a little tricky. How many sections do we have? We've got four sections and if all four of them, that would be one whole, those are equal. Okay, so we've got zero fourths. We've got four fourths. What is going to go right here? What's gonna go at this spot? Zero fourths, one fourth. You should have one fourth right here. So we've got one fourth. So we had zero fourths, one fourth. Anybody know what's going to go here? Hopefully you're seeing it. It's going to be two fourths. Very good. Zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths. Man, I bet y'all know what's going right here, don't you? Mm hmm. It's going to be three-fourths, exactly right, very good. So we went zero-fourths, one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths, four-fourths. All right, our fraction that we were talking about was two-fourths. Where am I going to place my dot to represent two-fourths? Where am I going to put that at? Is it going to go here? Is it going to go here? Is it going to go here? Here? or here and I already know a lot of y'all already know this you're probably screaming it out it is going to go right here at two-fourths notice that is right in the middle of this number line because two-fourths it's a little bonus for you two-fourths is the same thing as one-half and you're gonna learn more about that the more fractions you do but I wanted to just point that out to you two-fourths does equal one-half that's why it's right in the middle of this number line. All right, so I've introduced you to partitioning number lines. I showed you how to do it on for halves. I showed you how to do it for thirds. And I've showed you now how to do it with fourths. I'm sure you can only imagine that if you do it with fifths or sixths or tenths or twelfths, you're just gonna do the same thing. Okay, you can always show fractions on a number line, no matter how big the denominator is. Okay, so rewatch this video if you need to. I've got another video where we're just going to do some practice problems, some more, some that are a little bit more challenging. But this is really just getting you started. So try some on your own, watch the video again, and then watch my next video that I will drop in the description below so you can try some more challenging ones and to push yourself a little bit more. Thanks a lot for tuning into this video as we continue to make math understandable and challenging. Make sure you click the like button if this helped you learn it all and subscribe to Math with Mr. C. I'm super excited that you joined us today. Thank you so much. That is all that I have for you today. Mr. C, out.